Hello, my name is Robert Kemeny. I'm with Network Consulting Services, and today I'd like to show you how to use Ivanti security controls to install an agent on your Red Hat Linux endpoint for patching. So we can start by looking at the documentation, and they recommend that we use a script to install uh, the agent. Uh, it can be found on the console in a tar file. Uh, for the appropriate uh, distribution. Uh, then you must copy over that tar file and export the root certificate from uh, your console. Copy that over, uh, place them in the same directory, uh, know the agent policy name, and then fill in those parameters and run this script as root on your endpoint or uh, an account with sudoers permissions. Now that's certainly one way to get it done, but today I'd like to show you how to push that agent from the console to make things a little bit easier for you. So first uh, we're going to go to our machine groups here and we're going to create a new group that we will use to push out that agent. So we're going to call this the Linux install group and we're going to add the endpoint by name. Now this does require that you have uh, DNS configured in your environment and for this machine group we must set a credential. Now we can specify the credential for the entire machine group or if we have different endpoints that use different credentials we can assign them individually here. Just for ease I'm going to assign it here for this one. And then I'm going to highlight that and now we have this install or reinstall agent column header that we can choose. When we do that we'll need to pick the appropriate policy that we'd like to install if we have more than one available to us. We're going to use our demo agent policy and we're going to click the install button here. This will open up our dialog box and show us that we are uh, pushing out that agent to uh, that endpoint. So at the beginning of this process the console will compile together the appropriate tar file, the root uh, authority certificate, uh, and validate the credential. Build that package push it out over SSH to that endpoint with those credentials that we've assigned and when that's done we'll follow back up. Okay great it was successfully installed and if you noticed at the end there after the installation that it also registered the agent with our console. So let's validate that. So let's SSH over to that machine And when we run the agent uh, installer, it creates its own folder structure that's located in the OPT folder. And we're going to go into the bin folder where we can uh, issue some commands to check on our agent installation using an st agent ctl command. We can see the version of Security Controls Console that we're registered to. It gives us an agent ID and the name of the policy that's been assigned to this endpoint and versioning for our patch engine that's on this endpoint. Uh, we can also check to see what available tasks we have uh, um, for us here in this endpoint. If we misspell something, we can see that it will give us a little bit of a help in terms of uh, some parameters that we can pass to uh, this agent. And now we have a series of tasks that we can choose from. So if we'd like to scan for all patches, we can uh, issue that um, command using uh, dispatch and the index number for the command that we want, in this case 7. It gives us a task ID and if we're interested in seeing when that might have been completed we can uh, follow up with our agent control using a uh, task history command. 
we can see that uh, the completion is pending. We'll wait just a second for that to finish. If we come back to our console and look at our machine groups now, now we have a newly registered agent in here. We can see that it checked in just a few minutes ago. And if we refresh our machine, we can see that the last scan date also is right now. So now we have fresh information about patches that are missing uh, based on our scan templates uh, for this particular endpoint. So it is really very easy to get an agent installed onto a Red Hat Linux endpoint using the console. Thanks for watching.